the production of industrial fish feed is extremely expensive. The practice of dumping fish waste and byproducts into the seas, rivers, or landfills not only pollutes the environment, but also wastes the potential nutritional value of these products, which could be utilized otherwise. In fact, fish waste and byproducts such as fish skin, shrimp and lobster shells, as well as fish heads, represent a significant nutritional source of high-value compounds for the production of feed for freshwater fish, such as tilapia. Industrial fish feed bags can be preserved for several years, by adding chemical preservatives, making their production complex and costly. On the other hand, every week, local fish farmers have the opportunity to create their own fish feed. Throughout the year, they have access to all the necessary ingredients to produce their own feed in an artisanal manner, making this fish food inexpensive to manufacture and completely organic. It is true that industrial feed contains preservatives and can be preserved. In my company, the advantage is the abundance and availability of waste. I can produce it every week because my company ensures its availability. When we produce our own feed at home, it costs me $12 for 100 kilograms, whereas 100 kilograms of industrial feed cost me $120. So, if we compare the costs, it is 10 times more expensive compared to ours. Notre coût par rapport aux provins industrialisés, c'est vraiment différent parce que c'est 10 fois plus cher par rapport à la nôtre. Here are all the ingredients to use to produce 100 kilograms of fish feed yourself. You will need 60 kilograms of rice bran, 20 kilograms of dried corn kernels, and 10 kilograms of peanut meal, a byproduct of peanut oil that serves as the sole source of fat in fish feed plus 10 kilograms of fish waste and byproducts such as skins, bones, and leftover spoiled shrimp. All these ingredients can be purchased from the market at affordable prices. Rice bran costs 15 cents per kilogram, corn is priced at 25 cents, and peanut cake is sold in 5 kilogram pieces at 80 cents per kilogram. Fish waste and byproducts are abundantly available in the company. To ensure that all nutrients are present in the right quantities, in her homemade fish feed, Madame Jiven sought the assistance of a technical supervisor for her fish farm, a specialist and trainer in fish farming. During his training, this technician learned the correct formula for producing homemade feed, which was previously verified and tested in the laboratory. We don't have a laboratory to conduct analyzes for homemade feed, but based on the formulas we have, we use them here, because they have already been tested in the laboratory, and proven to be reliable. Before using fish skins and crab shells, it is important to sun dry them thoroughly, to facilitate grinding. In our case, the fish skins did not dry sufficiently, so it is necessary to lightly roast them over a fire. Our number one goal is zero waste. So we collect all our waste, like now, we have collected fish and shrimp waste, which we will use to make fish food. Either we use fish waste or shrimp waste, but not both at the same time. All the ingredients used in fish feed, including rice bran and corn, must also be thoroughly dried before mixing them. Otherwise, the artisanal fish feed runs the risk of quickly molding and rotting. Weigh each nutritional ingredient individually, to ensure adherence to the specified proportions for fish feed production. We have four components. If we want to produce 100 kilograms of fish feed, we need 60% rice bran, 20% corn powder, 10% peanut meal, and 10% fish, or crab, or shrimp waste. 
croissant ou du crabe ou du crevette. Use a grinder to finely powder the corn. Then grind the dried fish skins or shrimp shells. Bon, voilà, c'est fait notre farine de poisson. Well, there you have it. Our fish meal is done. Now, we're going to mix it with our pre-prepared composition. This grinder belongs to the National Women's Fishing Networks in Madagascar. It's a network that brings together women working in the fishing sector in Madagascar. Utilize a mortar and pestle to crush the peanut cake until it reaches a fine powder consistency. Peanut meal will not pass through the grinder. It's essential to weigh each ingredient precisely and individually. To achieve a homogeneous mixture, thoroughly combine all the ingredients in a large basin. Utilize your hands and kitchen utensils to mix the ingredients well and obtain a uniform powder. Then, transfer this powder into a plastic bag for transportation to the fish pond. After producing the fish food, we take it directly to the fish pond to feed the fish. Every week, we produce food for the fish. Industrial fish feed costs one US dollar and 20 cents per kilogram, whereas with one US dollar, we can produce 10 kilograms of artisanal feed. One kilogram of industrial feed can only feed two ponds in a day. But with our own artisanal production, we can supply 10 ponds per day. Madame Jeven has embarked on this pisciculture project, which will provide her with an additional source of income and an opportunity to add value to the fish processing waste from her establishment. Ultimately, she will be able to regularly produce her own fish feeds for her fish farming station. The first thing that led me to engage in this fish farming activity is that I had too many recoverable waste at home, and our goal is zero waste. The tilapia feed prepared by Jeevan Seafood from fish waste and byproducts, following the principle of zero waste, is a good example of how this can be achieved. This increases household income sources, so there's no need to rely on men anymore, as women can earn money. Now that you know how to produce fish feed using agri-food waste and byproducts, let's review one last time what we have learned on this subject. Purchase the products. Buy the products you need from the market, rice bran, corn, and peanut cake. Ensure you follow the specified proportions for production by carefully weighing all the ingredients. Grind the corn and fish skins into powder using a grinder, and crush the peanut cake using a mortar and pestle. Mix everything in a large container to obtain a homogeneous powder. Transfer this powder into a bag for transportation to the fish pond. Now, you can feed your fish to help them grow. <laughs>